Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today I'm gonna to show you how I try to do my dishes as quickly as possible. Now dishes are one of the biggest headaches when it comes to cooking. Uh, so one, try to minimize them if you can, but you know, using more makes the cooking process quicker, easier, and usually a little bit more tasteful. So if you gotta use them, don't be afraid to use them. Now I've got in the sink here, I've got two pans that we used for dinner last night. They've been soaking overnight. That's our first lesson. Uh, water is your best solvent. Water is kind of like soap. It does most of the soap problems. It grabs the stuff and then you can just wash it down the drain. Uh, what it doesn't do very well with is fat. Uh, but when things stick to the pan, soaking is usually our best option. So I just made breakfast and I got some more pans that need a little bit of soaking. These are not too bad, but I'm going to show you like if I'm going to do all these dishes, I'm going to soak this for a little bit. I'm going to soak the spoon too. And then I'm just going to put it over here to the side. And right now I'm warming the water up. Again, water is your friend, but it's gotta be, it, it doesn't work as well when it's cold. If you've ever gone camping and tried to uh, do your dishes when you're camping, that's kind of a good indication. Now I've got some oatmeal residue on the sides here. So I wanted to make sure that I at least got some water on there. I don't necessarily wanna fill the whole thing up because to me, it feels like a waste of water. What I can do is I can put this other dish in here to kind of fill it up slightly, just to take some of the volume away. Now, water is warm. I'm going to literally roll my sleeves up. Um, and before I start, I'm gonna make some space. I have my coffee stuff here from the morning, but I don't want it to get in the way. I wanna be able to just move things right over there. So first thing, uh, if it's something like this, knife, I only put some honey on it. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna do that, scrub it with my hands. Uh, similar idea with this. If I scrub with my hands, I can actually feel if there's still food on there. So that's, I don't really trust my eyes. I like to do that first. Now, knives, these are really sharp. Uh, you can do this carefully. What I normally would do though, is I would get my sponge. I just like the little rectangular ones here. Put some soap on there, get it all in there and then I scrub from there. I don't scrub directly on the blade because you're just gonna totally tear up your sponge. Just be careful, especially when you do it this way because my hand is this way. Don't push into the blade because if it cuts through there, it's gonna cut into your hand too. Just something like that. You gotta check the crevices here because that's where food gets stuck. Uh, but that one looks pretty good. Same thing over here. I like to go really quick on that. Um, and then if I, I, I'll visually check it and if it doesn't look quite right, I'll try to touch it up later. I'm putting pretty good pressure on stuff like this, though it's been soaking, it, it's gonna not be too much of a headache yet. Uh, but pressure is a good way to save some water and not, you know, more importantly, save some time, not do this forever. If it's been sitting in the sink, I'll do both sides, but if I kind of like, if I was just storing salad in here and then I took it apart, I might not even wash both sides of that lid. Here's our little tea thing here. So this, I like to just get the little stuff out of the way so I have space to work with. And I go through that pretty quickly because life's too short. <laughs> it's also good to do dishes when uh, you need some time to think. I'm kind of a fan of that. So this actually looks not too bad after last night. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there and turn my running water off because I don't really need it. I need a couple minutes to actually scrub. And what I'll do so it's easier to see is I'll put it over here. So what I like to do is I uh, jam it into the side. This is a nice sturdy pan, right? I spent a little bit of money on this and it's held up really well. I like to jam it into the side so that I know I can push really hard and it won't slide around on me. I can predictably scrub. It gives me better leverage. So we're just gonna do that. Uh, again, just like the knives, you wanna look out for these little rivets here because that's where stuff gets stuck. And if you get a lot of stuff stuck there, it's just gonna cake on and it's, your pan's not gonna last this long. Um, and my soap, you know, I've been using the sponge for a few minutes now, but my soap is still pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it. I am using the rough side here on this pan to get stuff 
off. It's important to try to not use like a steel wool kind of thing. A little bit of this discoloration is not the worst thing in the world, uh, but scratching your pan with steel is kind of the worst thing in the world when it comes to dishes. Uh, so we don't want to do that. So yeah, like I can, I can feel some of this stuff over here, but I'm not going to spend too much time on that. This to me is good enough. And then my next tip is I'm just going to leave it sitting like this against my cutting board on the other wall. Then I don't spend any time drying stuff. How satisfying is that? Look at that. It's mostly clean. I'm getting a little bit of backup here, so I'm running the disposal until it sounds pretty consistent, and then I turn it off. I'm gonna rinse uh, the sink out here because I got a lot of food particles that are just gonna get on my clean pan after I wash it. Okay, we're good. And same idea, we're just scrubbing here. Uh, circular motions tend to do best, but sometimes you just have better leverage when you're going back and forth. So I'll still do that, especially if I got something that's really caked on, and needs a lot of effort. If you go real hard, this you might be able to count this as cardio. I should have put my uh, heart rate monitor on. Because if I didn't track the workout, did it even happen? One's not too bad. Now, you'll, to me, I'm usually holding the handle and I, I sometimes forget to wash it because I'm, you know, I'm trying to do as little as possible here to save time. Uh, but when I cook stuff in here, you'll get splash and the splash will actually get on the handle. So you do need to clean the handle to keep things from just caking on. I'll generally do the outside first and then I've got this adjustable head, which helps a lot. Uh, if you don't have that, I like to two-hand something like this, just to get all the sides in. Now, this, I would say, is totally fine. I got pretty good beading. Everything looks uh, nice and fluid. I don't see any food scraps, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Drip dry, and then place it over here against the, uh, the other pan. Now, we've got other stuff here. Uh, something like this, I know it wasn't too dirty. I'm just gonna rinse and throw it in the dishwasher. I'm of the belief that maybe, and I'm not gonna need the dishwasher again, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Sometimes I'll usually put the uh, uh, utensils, like the fork and the knife in there as well, but I knew they weren't that dirty, so I figured I would just do it myself. Now here's the spoon. My soap's getting a little weak, so I might have to reapply. Usually I don't, but we have a, quite a few dishes today. And I'll even let some water sit, sit in here while I scrub. The oatmeal can be kind of difficult because uh, it does really cake onto the sides. It dries up. Uh, so <laughs> I've started to put too much water and almost undercook my oats just so that Cleaning is easier. It's a trade-off that you can make if, if you're okay with the taste. Um, I'm usually trying to make things easier and less concerned about taste. I'm not the pickiest eater that there is. And it's the same idea. I gotta check the rim because when I tilt out the oats, they get stuck on the rim sometimes and I don't scrub that super well all the time, but looks pretty good. Put it against the other pan. We're gonna do this one now. Now the non-stick is actually pretty quick. You wanna be very gentle when you're cleaning something like this. So use a bare minimum of pressure because otherwise you start to, especially if you get like steel, like if you put steel wool on this, you ruin it instantly. Uh, if you, you know, dig a fork or cut something with a knife on there, you ruin it instantly because the, the seal of the whatever, Teflon or whatever, that is the non-stick coating, once you break the seal, uh, it just it stuff starts to get under there and it starts to just peel away. And then you'll start to get, you get a really cheap one. You get some nice little uh, non-stick coating flakes in your food. I don't know what kind of macros that has. It's a little precarious, but it seems fine. And then last one is the pan. So this is another one that I really like to just leverage up against the side. I'll pre-wet it. 
and then come over here. I'll usually uh, go along these sides. We coat our pans, our sheet pans, in tin foil, aluminum foil, uh, before we use them because then, you know, sometimes oil will seep under the tin foil and it'll still get on there, uh, but it makes it harder for things to burn on. It makes it way easier to clean. So normally I'm not really scrubbing for very long here. And if I had one more pan to do, I would put more soap on this, but I'm just gonna kind of milk this out as long as I can, because this is our last one. Uh, pretty good. Rinsing here can be somewhat of a challenge to not get everything super messy. I still have some food in here, so let's get that out of the way. I like to use the adjustable nozzle because, I don't know, it just lets me direct the water much better. And so we're going to wash the rest of the stuff down. I'm actually going to just leave this over here because I have the space. Um, and then if the sink is really dirty, I'll take the rough side of the sponge and just kind of scrub a little bit. Not too long. I don't want to spend my life cleaning, you know. But uh, if the food gets stuck on here, you might get some smell and some, 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 again, caking on, just like the pots and pans, that becomes harder to clean the longer it sits. There we go. And then uh, last things are, I will squeeze out the sponge so that it's relatively dry. I'll do one last go around with a wipe, or with the water. And then I'll grab a towel, a paper towel. We have these reusable kind of paper towels. And I will just uh, seep up anything that's spilled along the edge. And then I don't get this crusty stuff on my counter. But that's it. That's uh, how to clean a bunch of dishes as quickly as possible. I think this has been my favorite way to clean. This sponge, uh, this shape of sponge where you've got the rough and you got the soft, and then just regular dish soap just sitting here works super well. Hope you enjoyed. All right, what should we call this? Dishes with Lance, maybe? Uh, that's it, that's what I like to do. If you need something else to watch, I've got a bunch of mobility circuits that you might like called Limber Up with Lance.